Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate, and welcome back to another Brick in the Mall. And we have our happy supermarket at 7am, things are opening up, janitor is cleaning, and I've had quite a few comments with some very helpful ideas for uh, names for things. So I just thought I'd go through a few of them. So uh, Stoyan suggested Pirate Bounty Blackbeard Supply Company Pirate Ship Exchange. What's the wrong word? It's expired? Oh, they've got to throw it out. What a shame. Hmm. Uh, what else is it? I quite like that, actually. I quite like... Uh, where am I going to do I'm going to go manage. Um, store... Uh, five. Store six. What's store five? Storage. Store six. Okay, so we're going to rename this. I like pirate bounty. Oh, pirates. Pirate bounty. I cannot spell Pirate's Bounty. Uh, that's pretty cool. And storage. We're just going to call it PB Store. Storage or something. Make it easy. There we go. That way we'll remember it. Uh, there was also Pirate General. So other names that I quite liked. I'm just having a little look through my comments. Um, do -do 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 -do. So. Someone wanted to name it Little, which is a big uh, pirate Little, which is like a big uh, chain from uh, from Europe. Uh, Mr. OS suggested the R Mart. Uh, I suggested maybe the Mega R Mart. That that's probably not gonna be working very good. Uh, someone else suggested there was like some version of Grog Shack in here. Oh, do the Dog Miner suggested Grog Yak. I actually kind of like Grog Shack. I think Pirate General up here can be the Grog Yak. I'm going to change that. Or Grog Shack. Grog Shack. Grog Shack. Interesting fact for you. In many places in the South Pacific, they call alcohol, like if you're going to buy beer, they call it Grog. And I think that's pretty much because um, all, of the, uh, all of the people who, you know, they learned bits and bobs of English off back in the day when it was first coming through. They would have learnt off, um, this one's going to be, I don't know, Pirate Fashions, I suppose, or Pirate Supply. Pirate Supply. That sounds uh, a bit more nautical. Pirate Supply. Uh, yeah, they learned English off sailors, of course, and sailors would have called it Grog, because that's what they used to drink. Uh, although Grog was, I think, pretty much anything they wished to call booze. And the name stuck in the South Pacific. Yeah. Visiting the South Pacific, it's like visiting your very own pirate-themed wonderland. Well, not really. That's somewhat patronizing. Anyway, it's time to get on with the um, pirate burger joint. So I'm having a look through here. Cutlass Cavern. I quite like that from Mr. OS. Um, what else is there? And we do need to actually build a pirate gold for a supply shop from Box Witch. Uh, Aurora suggested super, super lipidious mart to remind us Americans the joys of ingesting lipids. But <laughs> I don't think I can say that fast, even once, and I'll have to say it a few times, so I think I'll leave that. Um, a burger joint, Apollo's Burger? I don't get that. Oh, the, that was it. Burgers Ahoy. Burgers Ahoy. So Apollo's Burger was for someone else. Burgers Ahoy would work for me. So foundations, and I want to smash this over here. We've got all this parking. And I need to I need to get over being really anal about lining things up. But I'm just not gonna do it. I just can't do it today. That's just how I roll. So one more square down there. Oh no, it's gonna be really expensive. Huh. Can we do that? Can we make it a small one? Thirty-nine thousand. I think we can start with a small takeaway joint, right? That'll work. That'll be just fine. So I'm pleased to see all of you enjoying the series. I'm, I'm quite enjoying the game as well. I mean, obviously it, it resembles RimWorld and Planet... Planet... What am I saying? Prison Architect and Look. Hmm, getting a little busy there. But it's still rather neat. Not so... Oh, what are we losing here? Pirate's Bounties filling up Grog Shack. Checkout queues are full. Um, Do I want to chuck another one in? I'm kind mm, I'm kind of tempted because losing money sucks. So 
Oh, and look how much money we got flowing in now. Huh. That is annoying. I could fit one in. It just means removing um, that item. It doesn't get that busy all the time. Down here, not so bad. Oh, let me check the research as well. So we have a clothing supplier done, which means we can actually start to stock. I'm going to go T-shirts. Um t-shirts and we're gonna we're gonna build a whole bunch of other racks we got t-shirts down and i worked out why toys wouldn't go in down here they were against this bottom wall and things need to be accessible from the front uh, which is not really a great surprise this is you know it is a um it is a game in development and all of that stuff so oh that wall has gone really wonky looking oh well something funny for the developers to mess with uh, objects, uh, remove walls, objects, remove that. I'm just going to get rid of these. I don't even know what's on them right now, but they're bugging me. I'm going to resort out this whole place. Yeah. Okay. You guys go do it. Crack on. Get me a bunch of stock sorted. Meanwhile, Burgers Ahoy over here will be built. Get some storage in for it. Uh, I will need objects. Uh, I might as well set the doors now. Uh, staff door will be... Um, I'll put it down here. Yep, that'll work. So let's have a look. We've got t-shirts going in. More objects coming. Oh, it's 7pm. Out of hours. Car park seems to be fine, which is good news. I'm not seeing an over... Oh, the queues get a little long. It's getting late, though. I don't want to have people working... Like, a ton of staff working all the time. So those will be t-shirts in due course. Clothing rack. It's got no t-shirts on it. T-shirts will come in. Oh, here we go. Pants. Uh, pants. I actually think I'm going to change this over to dresses. And then there'll be dresses. Uh, shirts. Oh, they're not in yet either. Okay, so it's a bit mucky. Oh, brilliant. So we do have this. I uh, can put in more walls. Um, how much room do you think they need for a burger joint? I sort of think that's probably fine. Objects. Staff door. And it's going to need... Where are we? Not a checkout counter. It's going to need... Let me have a look. Fast food soda di dispenser. Hmm. Okay, I have to look. Fast food cooking range. Oh, no, I can't rotate, can I? Ah. Uh, no. Hang on. Um, I'm just double checking. I don't think I can. So, I mean, I might just have to put uh, that there. Uh, dining table can do three like that. I wonder if they would. Uh, it's not going to be very big. That's what I'm worried about. Toilet cubicle, all that stuff's locked still. Pinball machine. I do want to get a couple of those in. And well, you know, cubicle. No, no, no. Order counter. Oh, I see. They're going to queue like that. Mm. Hmm. Kind of think I've arranged things the wrong way round. Remove walls objects. Can I just tell them to cancel that? Right click and drag to cancel orders. Yeah, let's cancel orders. Let's put the storage at the top. Uh, remove walls, objects, objects. All right, we'll just try that and that and then let them get on with it because I, I think I'm going to have to put a kitchen at the back and then ordering this way and storage sort of this way. I think that'll work. Unless I've missed something. Hopefully the developer or someone will let me know if I've missed something really obvious. They've made a couple of changes. So when I pressed escape there, like, because I was doing something, like, had something selected, it actually 
took me out to the menu. And when I hit pause or spacebar, it pauses, which is very nice indeed. Uh, so that's going to be dresses. This one is going to be jackets, uh, jackets, coats, uh, coats. This one was shirts, right? Shirts, shirts. Oh, and we need to uh, build a clothing rack. Um, no, uh, stop. Uh, remove walls, objects, cancel that order. There we go. Okay, so that's going to be dresses. Oh, I like the look of them. They look pretty cool. Now, what else was I going to possibly squeeze in down here? Maybe more dresses. Yeah, more varieties of dresses. And I think I want to choose some new... Don't have any of those. A shelf for... Oh, men's shoes, women's shoes. So on and so forth. Um. Yeah, I think those will do the trick. I should try. I should try. Ah, okay. So let me have a look. I need to remove walls, objects. I actually need to move those because I want to put in another checkout tool. And so I will put in more dresses down here. Shelves. Um, I think I'll do something like that. And just down like that. Okay, we'll let them crack on with that because I want to fit in another till. I also, you know, I just don't like having those tills right there. But I don't feel... Oh, I see. There's actually a, a gap there. Okay, let's build a wall there. See if that fixes our slightly odd. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so that's wrong. Uh, gosh, gosh. Tiny pirate. Get better at this. Remove objects. Oh, boom. There we go. So now these can be uh, health and beauty. No, these can be not those tools. Clothing. Uh, they can be women's shoes. Um, women's shoes. Uh, women's shoes. We'll have uh, lots of men's shoes. Um, where are we? Uh, men's shoes and men's shoes and then we'll have uh men's underwear women lingerie okay i think that's all gonna work oh we do actually okay we don't have a staff member yet so we i don't think we need one just yet do we need more um Two racks of dresses. We've got two racks of everything. So. Oh, I might as well put some. I don't know. We'll put on some uh, T-shirts and some something else. Random pants. There we go. Just see if we get any issues with the amount of stock or anything coming through. So. Okay. So we did fix this. Uh, we'll put some walls back in. I think back here. The lines get very long, so mm, I'm thinking, I'm carefully thinking, 8,000 cash is not a great deal. We've been spending a lot on stock. I don't think I need that many, um, that much room for a storeroom for the, di for, well, no, I think it'll be okay. It's not a very big shop. So we'll try that. Get this up and running. Uh, staff door. Um, yeah, and we will need a loading zone, uh, so that's going to be roadworks, uh, loading zone, is it going to, no, just right click, yeah, okay, that's fine, I, actually, no, I think they remove roadwork, Boop. there we go, and then we'll go roadwork and put in a loading zone there, and then that can be a, a beautiful okay we can actually let them get on with this part first objects we need a staff door here we need a double door i think down there great and now we can do the roadworks loading zone 
and uh, a sign at oh, fast food restaurant at Phil. There we go. Storage, Phil, manage uh, fast food restaurant. So the fast food restaurant assigns storage and it's going to be called Burgers Ahoy. Uh, come on, just a little starter restaurant. Burgers Ahoy. And the storage is called BA Store. BA Storage. Great, now we need to kit it out so it's all gonna be beautiful. I think we will need a fast food soda dispenser. Oh. If we put it like this, it would feel pretty sensible. A fast food warmer back here. Oh, well, we need the fast food cooking range. And a fast food warmer. I don't know, does that go there, you think? Actually, I'm going to put it there and I'm going to move the staff door. Uh, remove that. Uh, build objects, uh, staff door. Pop it right in the middle there. And then I think what I can get, do I need a fridge? And it's only for selling things, so that's okay. What I do need is an order counter. I need at least a couple of them. Three seems about right. Uh, that's feeling a bit better. Food court, a thousand maintenance, thousand dollars, sorry, for the table. Food court table, diner table. Hmm. I don't really have a lot of choice, do I? Arcade cabinets, I could place. Maybe we'll just have a little back of the shop arcade. Um, Oh, do we need a water dispenser? No, we'll put a pot plant there. I think we can do restaurant table. Food court. I mean, we get probably more people in with this one. I think we can just quite safely do that. Let's see what that does. So now that we've got uh, diners ahoy, we need to open it till at least midnight, right? And it should have some breakfast hours too. Hire cook. Uh, these are terrible cooks. Barbara's not too bad. Hire cook. Wow, Alex is an angry cook. She's not speed, patience, sociability. Uh, he's not too bad. Hire stock clerk. Mm. At least diner's nice. Oh, not cook. Hire cashier. We need at least two or three of those. We need a whole bunch. Uh, hire cashier. Mm. Yeah. I mean, we're not looking for the most amazing people here, are we? Um, speed, patience. Uh, yeah. So one cook. You can, yeah, you can start at, at six. The other cook, you can start at like uh, 10. Really, I think we're going to need another one, aren't we? Um, yeah. And you, Lynn, can start at 2. That gives us reasonable... Like, oh, maybe if we start at 11. Yeah, that sort of works. Stock clerk. Yeah. Do we need another? I don't know if we do. Start at six. Start at uh, uh, 11. Start at something like that. Yeah. Okay, I think that works. Uh, missed opportunities once in pirate supply. Okay, well, that's a bit of a shame, but what can you do? So we, I think, are looking okay now. I don't like these tools right there, but that's just going to have to be how it is. Do we have, I think we may have more stock we can put in. Um, not 
quite. We don't have a bunch of generic junk. Coffee, tea, pet food, juices. That's everything. Fridge, fresh meat. I think, whoop. Oh, I think we have all of that. Fresh fish, fresh meat, dairy, milk, fresh meat, dairy, milk. Yeah, so I think we don't necessarily need a fridge. Yeah, table is still fine as well. Good. I think we might need to hire another janitor. No, not that. I want to select the maintenance, maintenance sensor. Hire a janitor. Ah, they're all terrible. But this one at least is patient and speedy. And you can be a bit later on in the day, Mr. Janitor. Get an overlap in janitors. Is anyone coming in here? Is this actually working? Oh, we need to build a wall there. A uh, wall, wall, wall. They've got no stock. Why is there no stock? Where, Where is our uh, uh, for Burgers Ahoy. Where's the stock clerk? It's 12. Where, where you down? What? Why have we got nothing? Uh, higher stock clerk. I'm going to put one in for later on in the day to last through to midnight. There we go. What? What's going on? Um, people are getting really grumpy because there's no stock, because we've got no food. Is that not big enough? Their, stor their storage space might not be big enough. We probably can afford to expand, at least. Oh, yeah, look, they're all furious. Going home. <laughs> Incontinent, Piscivore, and former cook. Urgh. Okay, I think we can probably take down a piece of walls here. Uh, remove walls, objects. Right, do that. We can expand our foundations a little bit, I think. Quite, quite fairly. Might even expand a little to the bottom as well. Okay, uh, so build um, foundations. Oh, what? Okay, so build um, a wall. See if it handles that. Okay. It did seem to not like that wall there. Look, it's happy now. Food is being made. People are eating it. I wonder if they go over here. If that needs to be somewhere else. Oh, no, they're filling it up. I see. Cooking, cooking, filling, filling. Stock clerk is happy. It's midnight and no one... Okay, no one's here. That's fine. Oh, good. We, we earned some money. We had lots of restaurant failures. And research complete night hours. What does that give us? Business opening hours between zero and six. Hmm. Now we're working on frozen food. Oh, that's fine. That'd be good for the supermarket. I do, I do, uh, I am going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to make this bigger because otherwise I won't be able to live with myself. Um, it'll be out of size. There we go. That'll, that'll fix that. So it is now midnight. 3 a.m. Let's see what another day looks like. We're on our way to selling 40 different types of product. What's wrong here? Women's lingerie is a little low in stock. I think we could probably get away with a couple more shelves. And, hmm. We could definitely put more lingerie in there. Janitor, this is getting a bit mucky in here. Put more lingerie over here. And men's underwear here. Good. That's that's looking great, that shop. It doesn't look very attractive. I'm aware that we lost all of our beautiful pot plants, so I might put one or two in. Just to give it that, you know, little je ne sais quoi that every fashion shop needs. Could put in a $20,000 fountain, but I'm going to hold off. What? That's... Okay, checking things slowly. We need to be a bit careful. So morning time. Queues are getting a little long in both of these shops. I think, yes, we need to, definitely. Okay, so Pirate uh, Bounty definitely needs more cashiers. Who, wow, they're all rubbish. 
Uh, and you should start at se se eight, eight, seven, eight. There we go. And then we get a max of. I wish we could give you, give you whole numbers. You only need whole numbers of cashiers, right? So it should be whole numbers. Developer, get onto it. There you go. Four people there. That's fine. Two's all it can handle there. There's two people working there. That's fine. How's the burger joint doing? It's okay. Not too busy. That's fine. Oh, I could put in another uh, chair down there as well. Brilliant. And if I wanted to, I could eventually make it all a bit wider, which would be good too. Speed it up and let's keep an eye on things. Whoever uses it. Oh, I see. Oh, that, I've got that quite nicely done. So the clerks do actually go here, pick up stuff. They go there. Now, is there any other attractive... Like, would there be any... Po no, I don't think those are any point at all. Toilets we don't have yet. No, no, no. Um, Trash can. Probably makes sense. And I'm going to say another plant because... Oh, pinball machine. Oh, so cool. If I put it in the wrong spot, they won't be able to use it. So... Uh, I'm going to put it there for now. Because that's great. Oh, I see. We need to actually uh, manage Pirate's Bounty. Where are we? Pirate's Bounty zone. Um. Oh, I see. Pirate uh, fast food restaurant. There we go. Oh, good. It handled that sensibly and didn't fail. Brilliant. So what exactly are you doing, pal? Hanging around. Oh, you don't have exactly a lot to do, I suppose. That's fine. That's brilliant. That that burger joint's going fantastically well. And over here, no problem in pirates uh, in the grog shop uh, or grog shack. And over here, getting through. Oh, we have a little bit restrooms. We. Oh, I see. <laughs> There's no restrooms uh, because we have. I guess pirate supply was full. Restrooms. Just how are we 38 out of okay, we need to wait for that one to finish. We'll wait for that research to finish, and in the next episode, we shall build a toilet block. It doesn't get much more exciting than that, folks. Our very own toilet block. I mean, yeah, what's not to like, right? Ooh. What why can't we build that? Oh, that's not uh oh, road. Yes. Uh, so we'll build uh, hang on. Remove roadwork. Oh, gosh, there we go. So we'll build uh we will build a toilet block in the next episode. It probably needs a name as well. <laughs> if you want to help me name a toilet block, please chuck a comment and I will uh be happy to oblige. Something not too distasteful, please. Anyway, until next time I've been Tiny Pirate. Hope you've been enjoying another brick in the mall. I have. It's cool. And I think it's out about November 8th, so keep an eye on Steam. Uh links will be in the description. Good night. Goodbye.